this is Leslie EY. I'm so happy to be able to share a little bit about my studio practice with you. Nice to see you to the Mona community. I wanted to, um, my experience of knowing Mona started in 2008 when I did a Nebraska Now show called Fee Fi Fo Fum, and that was great. I totally enjoy the community in Kearney and um, have continued my relationship with Mona since then, and I'm grateful. Um, I am a sculpture and installation artist. I really enjoy sewing and, and putting different kinds of three-dimensional pieces together. I use an industrial sewing machine and I often um, use other machines, but part of uh, my studio today is located in Middleton, Wisconsin. And um, I moved here in 2011 and reestablished my practice and I'm really grateful for my jumping off time in Nebraska. I also, this studio here is kind of a, more of, I would say more of a warm weather studio. It's pretty cold. It's attached to an automobile repair shop. So a lot of times I hear uh, the sounds of uh, cars coming in and out. I smell a little gasoline. I'm also located by a highway and I can hear a lot of the cars on one of those good summer days. Um, also, but when it's cold out, I also you utilize a maker space um, and they have laser cutting and welding and all sorts of things that can add to my repertoire and I really like the community there so I like to work with other artists when I can but right now um, in the middle of the coronavirus we're here at my studio and I'm really grateful I also often work at home um, when I'm not working here you know I'm spreading myself out between um, meetings with other artists I spend sometimes here when I have a a, a project that's coming up. I often work 80 to 100 hours a week here and um, and then after that kind of peaks I get a little I kind of I kind of slope downwards and I work at home or I'm working on communications with you know my, my marketing or social media talking to curators and other artists and just meeting with people or reading um, all those things kind of help build up momentum as I continue in my project phases. Also, um, when I am, so my studio here is, uh, you can kind of see, I like having a flexible space. It's about 45 foot long and about 12 to 13 foot wide. It depends on where I'm, I'm going. Um, like it depends on, you know, from this side to that side. Also, I, like that as concrete floor, floors, I can get a little bit messy. Um, a lot of the furniture around, some of it I've used in art installations like that ladder. It's great to get up and down, but I've actually used it as part of furniture for some performance installations. I have different things like a cart full of rabbits, a project that I've been working on for a while. And uh, I, I really like that flexibility in a space. Um, so when I am working, my best moments are when I've forgotten that there's anything playing music-wise or podcast-wise, and then I all of a sudden I realize there's nothing and I'm just being quiet. And those are some of the most productive times. Sometimes I do listen to podcasts and I'm, I'm a little kind of over the crest on those. Like I, I tend to really want to hear what my own thoughts are saying. So music is a better way for me to focus on my own work. Some of the newer music that I'm listening to is a, a group an artist named Simmel, S-Y-M-L, really enjoy that. Um, enjoy, you know, music mixes that um, uh, an a audiophile husband makes for me. And also, I really enjoy that quiet and those highway sounds. Um, let's see here. Some of the new work I'm making, you can kind of see on the ground here, is um, a, a sculpture armature for a 20-foot long tulip I'm making. I'm making about five of these and all the all the pieces I made are kind of they are all very flexible right now. There's several pieces that come apart and this is the sort of the pieces that I did the welding and things I did at my maker space. Um, so in 2007 I made another 20 foot long tulip but I was really excited about making one now. It's for this is a small maquette for the Miller Museum in Sturgeon Bay. And these will be five of these tulips, and they'll have they'll be white vinyl with color on the inside. And you can see that little square of rabbits is actually right here. This square 
is half of a seven foot by seven foot square. And uh, I'm also gonna be working on these birds, but right now, the, like you can see the pattern of rabbits there that are part of this. And I really enjoy making, like kind of just surrounding myself with things that I've made. Um, sometimes, you know, as artists, we forget that we've made anything. I don't know, I have a short term memory for productivity, I can get down and wonder, you know, did I make anything? What do I do? And so sometimes a new little something fun is great. Like I made this mobile for a project just recently and it really is fun. One of the, one of the things that I have discovered in my practice that I sometimes get um, involved in things that are super heavy or uh, conceptually wise, like maybe about redemption or family or things that are really heavy and I call those like my sacred sticks you know but then the secret carrot this this is something fun that I created for myself I like lighter scale projects that kind of are full of fun because not all art is is uh, lighthearted so I like to have a balance um, let's see some of I just really enjoy having um, objects that I've made around um, like these kind of an older piece I really like uh, words and this is from a, I guess a 2003 uh, collaboration I did with Matt Mason. We did um, kind of art at the corner of well, art at the corner of poetry or something. Anyway, um, I took one of his poems and exploded it into nouns and verbs, and that was really fun. And I I really love words, so that's kind of reminds me of that. Um, also, thinking about uh, just if. As for, let's say either you're a newer artist and you're trying to figure out how to set up your studio. For me, this studio has kind of been set up over the course of almost two decades. A lot of pieces um, that I've had, I've made for shows. Like I made this black table appeared at Museum of Nebraska Art. And you, if some of that, you might have come to that show, you might recognize this table. Um, some, like the orange piece behind is from, that, for that new, that new portion of my show these kind of these purple tables from a different show. So some of the furniture I've had just is because I've made it and I've needed it and I've incorporated it into my space. So I'd also say, think about keeping a clear space, a space that you can get around and move. I, I really have kind of instituted keeping the surface clean and cleaning it up at night if I can, just to keep my brain cleaned out and just cleared out and just to be able to have a fresh start, you know, in the morning or the afternoon when I tend to show up. Um, so one of my favorite, so I was just thinking about, uh, just to leave you with one really great memory of Nebraska, specifically in Kearney, when I was doing the show Fee Fi Fo Fum, I remember that I was staying in um, one of the staff's parents' house there, Snowbirds, and I was living there for three and a half months and just and totally enjoyed going back and forth to the studio, um, to the gallery, I guess, like maybe I think it was three or four days a week. And then my mom came out and visited me for Easter. And I remember just having my mom there. She hadn't, she hadn't been out there extensively and she just enjoyed being in the, in the gallery with me. And then we went and saw the cranes. And um, anyway, I, it was just really a beautiful time in my life. And I reflect on that and I'm really grateful. Um, so thank you so much, Mona and can't wait to see what you're up to in these next coming years. And um, thanks for coming to my studio, bye.